section. Latimi, welcome to the 20th Avenue Podcast, bro. What's up, what's up, Dumi? This is Latimi. I'm going to say, 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 Welcome to the podcast, bro. Yes, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've been trying to have you on this podcast for a very long time, bro. You're a busy man. Yeah, I'm a busy man. You know, there's a lot that's coming on. It's 2022, so you got to do a little bit of something there and that. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I remember last year, late last year, I was like, yo, Timmy, can you we, can we do the, the, the podcast interview? And you're like, ah, bro. Uh, my PA says my schedule is busy. <laughs> Let's talk in general. Yeah. In general, I call you like, bro, my schedule is too busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a busy, I'm a busy, I'm a busy man, you know. Uh-huh. But behind scenes, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so let's uh get straight into business, bro. We yeah. went with the, the the love of art, the love of music. Start, Taylor. Like, how did it start? Uh you know, music is in me. I was born with music. I was born with art. Uh, from a younger age, you know, I started mm-hmm. realizing that I, I love performing art. Uh, I was in the traditional dance from standard one up to form five. Okay. You know, so that gave me access to a lot of things you know when i reached my uh, senior stages i realized i could start uh, my dj skills and yeah, i started 2022 when i finished as matters pay that's the job yeah okay that's when i that's why that's when i started my dj and yeah it went well i was a francis towner i migrated to gaps uh, 2006 and it all started from there okay yeah okay, okay. so did you go to any sort of like a uh, school of djing or what or you mentored by someone no, 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 no. I didn't go to any school DJs, you know. Mm-hmm. I, it was just in me. I could look at others, watch DJs and learn from them. For example, like I could watch a lot of uh, Otis The Flow, okay. uh, DJ Bands, and mm-hmm. that's where it all started. And I did it on my own. I started teaching myself and learning you know, from YouTube and learning equipment. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because for someone who doesn't know you so well, they will think that maybe you into a school of music because you played a number of instruments also. Yeah, this thing, these things you learn as you go, you know, you learn as you go. And there's a lot that I want to learn, like the trumpet and the guitar. But all this that I have, you know, there is YouTube, guys. YouTube yeah. is got yeah. everything. Yeah. Get in there, try it, learn something, get a few, and get somebody who can drive you. Okay, yeah. okay. So at which point, because I heard a story by, uh, by DJ Seed, mm-hmm. uh, you guys got into a... Uh, Fanta uh, teaching competition of some sort. I think it was you. It's, it's the one which brought you into the industry. Like, it exposed you into the industry. Oh uh, yeah, we got into it. It wasn't Fanta. It's Sprite DJ competition. Yeah. It happened in Francis Town, and I got position one in Francis Town. It was the second one. Uh-huh. I got position one, and Bugisid was uh, position two, and we came to get and things messed up. Uh, Bugisid uh, emerged number one, and I got a uh, position two, and. Yeah, I uh, back in France town used to to visit your competitors before the the, the battle and just look at them laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, during my age, I, age, I was a funny guy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 That cup is mine. <laughs> I had that confidence. Yeah. yeah. So this is after high school, and some some of your peers are applying for tertiary and all. Yeah. Uh, what is your family saying when they see you like uh, busy scratching decks and all, burning CDs, uh, playing at nightclubs, and I'm sure you're still young, like fairly young, late teens. What happened is I made a choice after, uh, after after uh, senior school. Mm-hmm. You know, I I didn't have interest in studies which is was a bad thing you know yeah. uh then i started uh chasing my career on my own chasing my dream of becoming a, a musician and i found that it was a dirty game you know mm-hmm. and people are labeled as players in music industry and irresponsible so i wanted to prove a point to myself that this is business to me you know i can get something out of it um my parents now they're loving it back then they they couldn't do anything because I believe I was so stubborn that they didn't want to hurt me. Just let me and see where I'm going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that were the early days. Yeah. That were the early days of your career. The early days. Yeah. Yo, it's a difficult one. Yo, mm-hmm. it's a roller coaster. You know, there is no opportunities. You know, you gotta find them. You know, yeah. and there's no time whereby you get to find a gig and you start from the get go and make a lot of money or get a booking. No, no, you gotta build 
your brand from scratch you know you get into people you're knocking doors you ask for for slots play do a little there you know then eventually stuff will come people start noticing your skills will notice what you are capable of some will love it some will hate it some will say your face some will say wow and an opportunity will emerge on the way okay yeah okay so i'm sure i'm sure you're exposed to a lot of uh dirty things if i can put it that way like um mm -hmm. women of the night drugs yeah alcohol abuse and everything uh did you like uh get tempted to do one of the things that i mentioned it's part of the journey you know everybody's yeah. got a choice you know yeah. there's things they come and go yeah. if you're going to lose focus you know when they say eyes on the ball you know you gotta uh, keep your eyes on the bigger picture which is what you want in life you know yeah. if those yeah. things come yeah. and they disturb you and you make a choice of following them as you yeah do you uh, but they didn't do anything to me yeah. uh because i had focus i had focus you know but it's a wonderful thing to be fled uh, by women you know it's nice mm -hmm. it can be derailing but you gotta be careful you so you're different types of women who different type of men in, in terms of what like that uh you would um yes and i still do you know they're yeah. still behind the they'll text or they'll want you they'll say oh can i be your can i be yours take me take me <laughs> no you do have that but uh, yeah uh, you gotta throw love back it doesn't mean it has to really and get you off track mm -hmm. yeah but you didn't like uh get into a situation where you have like multiple girlfriends and all no it wasn't my thing i'm a rural guy you know i'm a, oh. I, I grew up from a royal family so okay i've got principles where i come from and i've got yeah uh, yeah there's a channel that i follow you know mm -hmm. i might i might yes try fit in but there's read the, the truth and the real me inside me that are that yeah. i respect okay yeah okay well, drugs no drugs involved uh i can confidently say um um uh, drugs alcohol smoke whatever you can think that's just free 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 okay it's a choice that i make i don't have anything <laughs> against alcohol i don't have anything against it's just choice that i'm making you know when i feel young looking at me you think i'm probably 23 24 mm. but in two years i'll be 20 40 i'm 38 life is starting yep away 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 so now the music production starts you yeah. first before music production now uh, you become this dj right yeah okay how did you end up being this dj I migrated from Francis Town and I came to Gaps. Mm -hmm. Getting to Gaps, I realized Gaps had it, its people and there was no chance I could emerge as a, the best DJ or as a good DJ. Yeah. So I found a loophole in artist performance. So I decided to join V and become his tour DJ. Okay. With that, I created my fan base at the same time working for him and being his shadow. Mm -hmm. It was really a great experience. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's from yeah. there when times went by, that's when I started uh working on the brand okay yeah uh, how, how i was working with me like he's his 20 it's 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 a it's a it's a soldier you know i think it's a military life military mm -hmm. life when you're with V. you know okay what when you mean by that military you know how how soldiers work okay you know, that's that's the you mm -hmm. know when you are in there you gotta stay focused you know he wants people to work for what they want you know he doesn't want to spoon feed spoon feed people so that's okay. how it is yeah and are uh, you guys parted ways properly without any fights? Yeah, I I don't fight. I don't have time for fights. Uh -huh. It only delays my creativity. Yeah, because the reason why I'm um, um, I'm asking this, yeah, uh, a lot of people have left him. I won't mention names. Yeah, but it's something which is on record. Mm. Uh, they say that they leave because they are underpaid. So now my question is, uh, were you, were you being paid properly? Were you being paid what you deserve? It's 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 the type of person that you are and what you've wanted from, uh, from him. You know, from my side, I don't know how they got to meet him and start working with him. But from my side, I saw a loophole. I saw an opportunity for me to image my brand. So I took it. That's all I needed from him. All these things of being paid, you know, being done that. Uh, first thing you have to look, uh, you have to see it from this, uh, this side. When they call, they call him. When they book, they book him. Everything's about him. You know, performance is about him and you're just taking advantage as well by being there. So that's what I needed. I needed the platform for V. That's my, what, that was my main goal. That was the focus. Okay. Where it was. And I got it mm -hmm. and I'm here now. Okay. Okay. So what did you learn from him? 
Because we're the big guy that we're talking about. Yes, I learned that uh, everything that you want, you got to go after it, you know, despite mm. what people say, despite if people tarnish you or people see the bad in you, anything, they see you good, they see you doing whatever that, that their opinions doesn't matter, they, they shouldn't matter to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so now um, you decide to leave V to start your own brand. Yeah. DJ Latin. Yeah. And the rate of know you because yeah, this dramatic artistic guy who's on the decks mm -hmm. who dances like no man's business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how uh, take us through the foundation of your of your brand uh, development. Um it was really tough because back then social media wasn't it uh, on our section, you know, just mm -hmm. banners and word of mouth and uh, you know, maybe radio. That's how you could reach uh, a well range big range of, of, of fans so i started uh djing with v across the country gave me that platform then releasing music as an artist as a performer gave me the platform through radio then from there social media came in and we had to learn marketing ourselves through social media and how to respect the brand you know there are two different things between uh, timothy sabuta and latimi those are two different people latimi is a brand is a product that you have to sell and it has to bring money to the table so building the brand was quite a challenge but i'm still learning if you want to learn a lot about music industry you can get into um, you can get on youtube and google and you can learn a lot from that you know, from different countries different music industry your our industry and right now i'm i think i'm on the right track and still learning though yeah and how are the bookings coming up? Like, uh, you, you've been known as V's uh, DJ, now you're standing on your own. Yeah. Did the, did the public and the, like uh, potential promoters and promoters also have uh, faith in you in booking you? Yeah, they did because I started uh, being on my own in 2009 and the first booking was on an OP which was Orange and I did the Shaggy event, I did the Orange Munyaka tour, I did the... the uh, the Orange Minyaka tour, Orange Extreme tour, you know, I did all those, the, the mask on the was of cash. And with that, I had a platform to showcase what I'm capable of and they liked it. And uh, the professionalism that I, 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 I presented to them, they loved it and they started working with me. Yeah. And uh, at some point you got a, a check at close 200,000 from Tipsona. Eh? A check. Dude, how did you know about that? Who, 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 how, how? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. You know, but it wasn't just of a performance. It was uh -huh. uh, supplies, you know, okay. supplying stage lights and performance and hiring other artists. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So we can, we can say at some point you're one of the most highly paid DJs in the country. I'm still the highest paid DJ in the country. How, how much is it to book Latin? I don't know if you should say this on record, but it's 30K in wow. Pulas. Yeah. 30,000 Pulas. Yeah. Wow. Performance fee. Uh, for festivals? Yeah, for fest outdoor festivals and they're indoors and they the weddings and they are clubs. It's different than their bars. Okay. The scale goes down it from goes the down. outdoor. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, so for a young guy who's a DJ, who's trying to get bookings, even artists, because yeah. they don't know how to, to they always see people on, uh, on posters, but they don't know how to be on that poster. Yeah. How do you, how do you get to, to get a booking? It takes time, you know, people got to love your art. You got to it's, it's start from building the brand. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to be like the big dogs, you got to roll with the big dogs. But how do you get there? You got to stay humble. You got to perfect your art. You got to attract attention from potential buyers. You know, with that, create a fan base. With that, nobody can ignore you. They'll okay. come to you. Yeah. Okay. 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 And uh, now we are, the, the, the brand is growing. You're famous. Finally famous. Yeah. Mama, I made it. You'd see. Yeah. yeah. How are you handling the fame now? It's just okay. There's a difference between living fame and living as a human being. You know, you got to differentiate the, the two. Once you get out and you're out to work, you know, that's fame. You should know how to treat fame. Fame shouldn't get to your head whereby you think everybody you pass is just a stepping stone. No. You got to know that it's just for performing and it, it comes with time and it's a life is a circle one day you won't be where you are you know there'll be somebody and you'll need a helping hand okay yeah okay uh but didn't you like uh sleep along the road whereby you were like ah no i'm the i'm the, I'm the dj i'm the dj that you want to sing about 
Um, I did, but it was behind the scenes because I did it in front of people who cared about me and they, mm-hmm. they'll give me a word or two and say, young yeah, man, can you tone it down? You know, this is not how it's done. You know, don't look down on others. Don't think you are the it. Because, and I looked at it that way as well and realized that before Latimi emerged, there was somebody else. You know, yeah. And there were people be, before I did and there's still going to be people after me. So... It's a choice if I want to build my brand out of arrogance or out of just humbleness. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure by now women, like, uh, they're interested in the boy because they see that the boy can use his waist properly. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know every time we're performing on stage, when it's time for you to dance, like women scream. Yeah. They'll be like, I know, who, why it's <laughs> Well, I don't have... Uh, valid uh, confirmation that women are after me. It's only on social media, and for me, it's a clientele. I've created a clientele of female clientele. You know, whether females, men will come and pay. So uh, that's all I'm about. So what's 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 up with the, with the dance move? Like uh, the waste the waste dance move. Like I said, I'm a rural guy. I grew up with Kwasa Kwasa. You know, okay. uh, there's a lot that I could do. I've got, I'm um, I'm one. Uh, Talented guy, multi-talented. Like mm-hmm. I do a lot. Like I, I could dance, I could produce, I could. Uh, like I do anything. I, I would learn. I, I, I fix my own cars. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's how talented I am. Okay, okay. Uh, now you 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 you're making your own music. You're no longer a teacher, but you're now making your own music. Yeah. How did that idea come across? Come about? I mean? It's 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 what I had wanted inside me, inside my head, that I wanted to to deliver and people yeah. couldn't get it so yeah. I decided let me just try it and I learned softwares like Foot Loops and it was still Foot Loops uh, what was the Foot Loops 9 uh-huh. Foot Loops 6 yeah she believed that Foot Loops 6 and I started learning the, the software of creating music and I started learning Cubase and I learned from Dr. Tawanda different people and yeah, yeah. Okay. then I started producing music okay yeah and uh, it dropped a gem it's, a, it's, yeah. it's an emotional song yes but it was a club pain. Mm-hmm. How <laughs> we once had this conversation about six years ago. Yeah. You know, by then you're like you're asking yourself how how you managed to make an emotional song into a club pain. Yeah, I still don't know how I came about Nanzala Vuke because I did it at two a.m. Uh-huh. alone in the studio and I came up with such melodies and I recorded it. And after recording it, I left it in the studio. And Doctor Tawanda was like. While I was sleeping, while I was sleeping, you were recording, and I heard that song, dude. Yeah. That's a banger. Yeah. Then I took it and I fixed it, uh, mixed it, mastered it, learning how to master with a computer, then gave it to the radio station, and then boom, I didn't market it. I didn't do anything to it. I just gave, I just submitted to the radio station, and mm-hmm. became a banger. It won a music video, yeah. um, boom hours, mm-hmm. and best music video, best song of the year. You know, it, it did one that's then that's the song that opened the gates for bookings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and at the same time, you decide to to sing in your uh, native language. Yeah. Which is what Sisubi, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, people actually love the fact that you're using your native language. What inspired you to not to do like what other guys do when they come to Kabarone, they decide to sing in uh, Sichuan? Yeah. I love being unique. I just love being. Unique. I love being different. Like. Yeah. I don't see any need of me doing something that everybody could do. Like, I don't see creativity in that. I believe yeah. I need a challenge for me, for somebody to say, you are good and you are different and you are the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, need to, I need to believe that I'm the best and doing something that's different. Yeah. Okay. So, it's uh, the years around uh, 2012, 13. This is when, like, uh, you hit your peak. Yeah. At the peak of your career. Mm-hmm. Um, who, who were you rolling with in the industry around that time? 20, 2012, 2013, I was under the record label of uh, Midumo. Mm-hmm. No, is it Dia Duma? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dia Duma Records, which was Tops. Tops Masoles yeah. record label. So yeah. he was the only guy I was rolling with, and I was a solo artist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what, what did you learn from, from Tops Masole? Because uh, just a, a few months before his passing, yeah. you mentioned that you're one of the few artists who were looking after him. Yeah. yeah. Tops taught me that gold doesn't come overnight. He told me that making an event or trying to build a brand doesn't take an overnight, you know. How to get a more event thing? 
How can I tell God? God can I tell So I've learned to be patient. You know, three cups. I've learned to work hard at something that I want and stay focused until I achieve it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So currently, you're not saying that name label. No, 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 no. I've always been a solo artist. Even on, on top, we were partners. I was just under his label, but not signed. Okay. But he was, he was, he groomed me. You know, he gave yeah. me opportunities. Yeah. He gave me all the, the all the opportunities I could say, you know, clubs, you know, be it his connections, his everything about tops, you know, I was his son. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, just going back to the issue of bookings. Yeah. Uh, you're one of the highly paid uh, DJs in the country, yeah. and at the same time, you are always booked. Yeah. Like uh, you're a busy man. Um, what 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 makes it easy for people to book you at the same time expensive? It's, uh, it's, I think it's the content that I possess, okay. you know, and the professionalism that I, that I, that I have. I have a manager, you know, nowadays you don't book yeah. me directly. You go through channels of management and you book and you do all your uh, bookings and I'm given the schedule to where I'm performing and it's coming out good. It's coming out good. And yeah. though it's tiring yeah. at some point, but yeah. that's the business. Okay. I, I agree when you're saying it's coming out good because you recently put your manager a car. A brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my stage manager. Uh -huh. Yes, and I've got a manager as well. Okay. Yeah, administration manager. Okay. Yeah, that's my stage manager. Yes, I did, man. 2022, 20, 2021, 2022 was uh, immediately after COVID. I realized that I've been working with the guy for quite a long time, which was yeah. eight years. And he has never given me a problem. And he has never even been jealous to what I had. And I realized, you know what? TV, you're achieving a lot and you can do a lot for yourself, you know. This time, pick somebody and thank him as your achievement. That's what I did. I picked him to thank him in 2020. That was my achievement in 2021. Yeah. Okay. And uh, more blessings came after that, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. I can't count my blessings. And anything that comes to me, it's a blessing. Everything that comes is a blessing. Yeah. No, that's great. That's great. That's great. All right. Uh, so, come COVID. Yeah. It had been a great period, like a great decade, yeah. decades before. And uh, we're planning on making more money, but yeah. COVID strikes. No bookings. Mm -hmm. And um, no source of income. Yep. How how did you manage to like, pull through those two years? 18 months, I'm sure. Uh, the 18 months, I after COVID, COVID hit, um, I had no plan, but I had to come up with a plan. You know, mm -hmm. What I did is... I invested in a lot of assets, uh, not not knowing that I was investing, and I liked cars, so I bought a lot of cars, and I had a business of a catering business, which was a kitchen, mm -hmm. mobile kitchen, and I had rental cars. Mm -hmm. So when COVID hit, everything was at stop still. So I decided to to sell the assets. You know, I sold all those assets so that I can provide for the family, and I saved the money. And I didn't use the money for anything except survival. Yeah. yeah. And it held me until COVID dissolved, mm -hmm. I should say. Yeah. How, how were you coping though during that period? It was very difficult because at some point there was a there was a time I was depressed. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't identify what was going on, but I was so sad, you know, I could get angry at people for no reason I could get angry the government, I could get angry at other fellow artists, I could get, get angry at news, you know, news that we are being fed on social media were depressing us, we are consuming, consuming a lot of negativity from other countries, so I decided to take a break from social media and decide which pages to follow, you know, I followed the pages that had codes, you know, that gives you, you know, uh, positivity, and I decided to do that, and I decided to create a, um, a show on social media where I could DJ and make it my escaped area. So I did that and it worked. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm, I'm glad you spoke about uh, depression. As a man, as yeah. a man, I'm glad that you came out and spoke about it. Yeah. Because apparently for, for us men, it's uh, it's something that we're difficult of talking about. Yeah. Because it will seem as if we're, we're not showing our masculinity as a man. Yes. Yeah, as men actually. So uh, let's just talk uh, briefly about about uh, what you call mental health yes. for a man. 
depression and all. Like, uh, why, why is it important that we, we discuss these, these, these matters as men? Even talk to them, women, not only our women, but our sisters, our, our, our friends, female friends and stuff like yes. that. Yes. As a man, I think we are brought up with ego and, and, and pride. Mm. So that, we use it uh, in a different way. Like, now we don't care of, of the, about the outcomes. When it comes to depression, um, I realized that uh, being strong doesn't mean uh, getting up and facing all the challenges. Being strong means sharing and letting somebody carry the burden or understand what you're going through. You know, and eventually, as much as you, uh, you speak about something that, that bothers you, somebody might give you a little light of how to overcome it. Yeah. And when, how do you manage to, to, to stay like... Uh floating when, when everything is not going well? Well, like I said, I decided to choose what to follow, pages, which pages to follow on social media because that that was the only access we had, social media. Mm. So I decided which page, which pages to follow, like uh, positivity, you could follow the churches pages, you could follow uh, the creativity pages, you know, and st stay away from media. Because media will feed you anything that they had. You know, if it's bad, they'll feed you. They'll tell you a man killed his wife uh, because they, they, they were fighting over a plate. And that's information and that's content that you, you bring. What you put in your mind is what you're going to portray as a, as a human being. So I decided to follow that. Get into YouTube. Learn something new, you know. Install and invest and put knowledge into my mind and be busy. At, at, at times, you know, the, the corner that I created, which was the music scene, that's what kept me busy for me so that I wouldn't think a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling a lot of positive energy, like when you're speaking like this. Yeah. Uh, so as someone who's a superstar, mm -hmm. um, you're in the, in the, you're the center of attraction. Yeah. I've seen you in malls, I've seen you every, like, you're very humble and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, when people ask for pictures, you take pictures. When someone comes and, like, uh, mimics your dance moves, you train them in those dance moves. Yeah. But yeah, like, uh, you're an easy going guy. So, um, how do you, like, take negativity? Let's say maybe a tabloid is written about you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or people, people are talking about you. You're trending on social media and stuff like that. Well, negativity is not an easy thing to take, you know. But the simplest thing to do about it is just ignore it. And don't pay attention to it because the more you pay attention, the more you depress yourself. What you have to do is, if it's done, it's done. What is it that you want to achieve that's good or that makes you feel good? That's where you go, you know. You should understand that the people that you meet are the people that makes you, are the people that say stuff about you, are the people that attack you on social media. So if you give negativity attention, you'll always attract it. But if you give positivity attention, you'll always attract positivity. And at the same time, just smile and wave. So the, the reason why I'm asking this, um, mm. yeah, 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 you're a strong man. You think? You are a strong man. <laughs> <laughs> you are a strong man. Um, some, a few months ago, yeah. uh, you put up a statement yes. on social media. Yeah. Um, just uh, alerting the public, the general public, that you've parted ways with your, with your wife. Yeah. Yes. Which is a divorce. Yes. Yes. And um, if, like so many people when they go through such such phases, like either they disappear on social media or they become aggressive and all. Yeah. Um, you're positive. You would pull, like you would post your videos dancing and stuff like that <laughs> and all. Um, just, just take us through that phase, like that period. Well, the phase is not, uh, that's not a, a really good thing to experience. Yeah? That's not a good thing to 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 talk about you yeah. know but it happened you know and i didn't know it, it, it could happen to me i, I was never ready about that mm -hmm. but it happened and once it happens you gotta go through some stages which is you're gonna be hurt you're gonna hate you're gonna heal and eventually you're gonna forgive so while that while i was going through that you know i decided to take a channel of going through counseling because I wasn't ready for it. So Cancel It did wonders and it gave me the light. It gave me the hope and to focus on the positive and to ignore the hate that comes out of you and try to badmouth or ill-treat or hate the other person. You know, they're only, at the end, you should know that we are only human beings, you know. We, 
we we grow and we meet different people and some they'll come into the picture to help you a journey and um so when, when you meet with somebody and you, and you know that um, that, that time has elapsed and uh, the things have stopped you know we are we are all human beings you know? at some point somebody's gonna stop loving the other you know, somebody's gonna maybe derail from happiness or from fun so when it happens as a human being you gotta stay positive and hope for the best and hope for your other partner that they get what they wish for that's all so how long how long did it take you to to to, to decide this to decide like i'm sure it, 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 to decide like separation as a couple i'm sure you sat down and spoke about it yeah it took time it took time you know it, we, uh, eventually we were th we went through this and it took us like four months while we were going through it after four months that's when we decided to uh, publish it before the papers do because if we let papers to publish it they'll maybe we thought they'll portray it in a different or maybe in a, a demeaning manner so we decided let's just take it out there and move on so you're staying together within that period of uh, four months yes we were staying together okay yeah okay okay so how, how are you currently coping Hey, I'm a free man, man. I'm a free man and I'm a happy soul and still recovering. You know, it's not something that you wake up and say, I've forgotten. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's part of life. It's, it's somebody that I shared a beautiful life with and now I'm not. So it's got to go uh, out uh, slowly but surely. And hopefully I might turn out to be another man. Yeah. Yeah. So are you guys uh, still talking? Do you text? Do you call? Do you meet each other? Nope. We've decided to, to put it on hold until we've reached the healing process and feel it's okay now for us to maybe chat and say, Yo, I don't know my boat and say million yana, you know. Yeah. Oh, can you try it again? Try? Oh, you'll be sending a test code again. Can you, can you try it again? Can you try, to try the, the journey again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happens, man. I've heard people have, 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 have done this. They've divorced and they've remarried. Yeah. So it does happen. You can never know. Never say never. Never say never. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I'm sure your, your inbox is picked, huh? But with shorties, girls, hollering yeah. at you. Well, they do. They do. Yeah. It's, 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 it's part of life and something that's that, that I'm enjoying, though. You know, when they do that. But it's, it's nice. Like, it's nice. It's nice to be... That, that's... Uh, I want to be attracted to ladies, but it is happening, but it's not something that I'm entertaining. Okay. Yeah, because once you entertain it, it gets the best of you and you lose focus. There's a lot There's a lot that I have to achieve as Latin men. There's a lot that I have to give back to the community. There's a lot that's going on that I have to focus on instead of um, personal enjoyment. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, 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 have you started like um, talking to other people? Thinking? No, 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 no. You don't do that. It's still early, yeah? yeah. You gotta rest. How long are you supposed to rest? It doesn't matter, but uh, since it happened, I, I felt like it was the first time I discovered myself, the first time that I learned who am I and what I'm about. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not determined by social media, I'm not determined of, about with what people say out there. You know, so that's something that I'm still learning about myself, you know, and understand mm -hmm. what is it that I want in life, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, do I really want to get married again? I need to, to look at it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do I want to achieve? Where do I want to go from here? Mm -hmm. So, not yet. Not nope. Yet. Nope. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, to, to young couples who are married. Yeah. Or those who've been together for a long time. Mm-hmm. Was scared of being apart, but you feel you feeling for the energy has on him, man. Has mm. on Yeah. What advice would you give them for someone who has walked that journey? Or you guys were mature enough to discuss it? Yeah. Uh, stay together for four months and then yeah. uh, eventually plan to say you know, I'm in. Well, people, we are talking about couples that are still together. Yes. What I can say is, um, it's now or never. Go for counseling. Counseling is the best thing because it gives you pictures and it helps you decide on which one to pick. If you wanna mm. stay in the the road or you wanna get out, you know, we are we are two uh, two different individuals that have different dreams that have we are chasing the different world and the journey. You have to be sure about it. You, know, you gotta choose to understand if you're gonna be with the person 
mm-hmm. that you're choosing forever to be your partner you yeah, know, with yeah, the yeah. ups and downs that are gonna come with the person so you gotta learn that you gotta be aware of that don't just go in there dive in the water and say yo hala hala mm-hmm. well, yeah i'd say go for counseling counseling mm-hmm. It's not something that's done when uh, problems come. No, it's something that's done with change. If you lose your job, you gotta go for counseling. If you get a job or if you win a million, you gotta go for counseling. If you get money or you get something that's a change, with change to your life, you gotta go for counseling so that they, they advise you on choices to make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, do you have any regrets? Uh, about what? about uh, the decisions that you've made and uh, the current, the, like everything that happened. With what? We are talking about what? music? Uh, no, I mean the, 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 the separation. Oh, the separation? Yes. No, 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 no. I don't have any regrets, but I still have, uh, I still have pain, you know, that I'm going through, that I'm trying to get over. Yeah, I'm human at the end of the day. I don't have regrets, you know, it's part of life. I've learned to to understand that I still have access. It's just that uh, this one wasn't just a girlfriend, but it's somebody that I got into matrimonial with, you know, taking that decision to say, enough is enough, I'm done with playing. I'm gonna face one person, but it didn't happen in there. Yes. It's life, you gotta learn man, to take punches. And this is nothing, man. This is nothing compared to what I've came across or what I've learned with other people raising kids and finding out that kids are not there at 15 years and you know people are going through a lot you know hey <laughs> never say never mm-hmm. yeah but so, no regrets timmy thank you for sharing this part of the story like yeah it's, impo- it's important because mm-hmm. the reality brother or like they end up paying themselves killing themselves yeah and then about two and they paint the house with all the inside and we have some brothers who are also facing the most yeah yeah so thank you thank you for sharing this story and uh i hope you continue sharing it also on different platforms so that it reaches a lot of people yeah, you think it's a positive thing you like it no it it, uh, it strengthens the the the, the, the heart it okay. gives someone confidence yeah if you say so man i appreciate it yeah appreciate it gives yeah. someone confidence because really much it all went through, through a lot and, yeah uh, much really wanted to go through a lot yeah not true yeah yeah so we are someone who's influential and um when you're sharing such positive uh, energy, mm-hmm. like people are easily, like, what you call, they easily adapt. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, that one I've, I've, I've came to learn. So that's why on social media, you got to put something that's positive because uh, there's one person out there who wakes up and say, I want to see what that TV puts on social media that will give me that strength or give me that excitement to do something positive. So you got to push positiveness. Negativeness, it's nothing. It's just a waste of time. Like it is a waste of time. Mm-hmm. The time you spend, the time you spend, mm-hmm. believe me, nothing happens in between. Just sadness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, so going forward, like uh, moving on, let's uh, get back to the to the music industry. Yeah. Let's get back to the music industry. What's your take on the on the standard and quality of uh, Botswana music at the moment? From the time you you got into the industry. Yeah. Now? It has grown, but we still lag behind looking at how things are done in our country yeah. and music-wise. You know, when you go outside, you learn, you get to understand that people work with the library and the content that you possess. Mm-hmm. Other than here, here we work with skill. Yeah. Uh, say if your event doesn't have Latim, it's whack. <laughs> no. Yeah. In other countries, different. When you tell them I'm Latim, they ask you, oh, you're Latim. Then they get on social media, they go on iTunes, social platforms, and they look for your content. You know, if they don't find it, then to them, there's nothing to sell. Yeah. Yeah, but it's growing. We're still lacking behind. We still need um, such platforms where we can put our products and people can buy them or access them and understand what we are about. And as artists, we still need to work hard in creating content, not just content, but quality content. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the artists, you know, they're willing to create content because some are like they they just throw into the pot. We are different. We are different. Some that are in this for fame. Some that are in this just to pass time. Yeah. Some that are in this as a business. You'll tell the difference mm-hmm. once booking or once you attend events. You'll see that this one is different from this one. This one doesn't take this. Uh, you can tell. So we are different. There is 
and we, we, we can't control that. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's a singer, everybody's an artist. You know, you find a telephone, a bank is a DJ, you find uh, a security guard is an artist, and everybody's an artist. Yeah. But we are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, the reason why I'm saying this, mm. uh, we spoke about you having an administration manager. Yeah. And one of the artists, but like, you don't cry and complain for, ah, but these guys are always uh, calling South Africans or this and that. Not that I'm saying it's right in course of the yeah. Africans. Yeah. But I, I've never he heard you complaining. Yeah. And then there are those who are complaining, but they like even administration approach. And they like bookings, like, um, grand, grand, like, what's, what's going on also in the, in the musical uh, politics? space um as an artist and as an individual you have to look at the bigger picture you know if i put myself into another foreign artist i'd ask myself if i was to be booked in their country or booked outside my country would i like it if they treat me that way and if i was to be booked outside the country what would have happened what is it that they would have seen that i possess that their country doesn't have Maybe it's that uniqueness. So we need to look at the bigger picture that at some point we are not only feeding in our, uh, from our crops, we have to feed outside as well. Yeah. Okay, no, well said. And uh, is, is the radio taking care of the local radio stations? Are they taking care of you as local artists? Are they playing the, 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 their role properly? Nope, 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 nope. The radio station is not, uh, because there's no, they, we, they don't have a rule of uh, how, 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 how much percentage music they, can, they should play or local content they should play on radio so they just when you switch on the radio you can you will only hear maybe foreign music international music more and maybe there's sometimes a segment where they play play local but it's not enough you know it's not the, you have to feed or we have to feed our people you know or our clients with our content so that they buy our content you know customers don't listen or don't hear most mo most of our content so they hear foreign content. That's why they demand it. You know, why would you demand something that you don't know of? If you don't know Latimi's music and you want to demand Latimi, ugh, it's not going to happen. So radio is lacking behind. We need that, 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 that rule so that we can get more of our content. Uh, at the same time, I'm not pointing fingers at the radio. Mm -hmm. The finger still come, comes back to us as artists. Do we have enough content? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of radio, why are you not on radio, bro? Because you're all spoken in your DJ. Most DJs on radio. Why are you not on radio? I don't have interest in radio. I, I, I tried radio. I was I worked on, on Gaps FM. Is it? Yeah, one and a half years on Gaps FM. I had a show that took an hour. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot, but I don't have interest in radio. Okay. I have interest in visual, which is television. Okay. I want to be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about acting? I think you once acted in one of the dramas, like... Yeah, it just started. It's called Butsuli, which just started. It yeah. was my first time acting, and mm -hmm. I'm really good. Okay. Apparently, yeah, they, they, they yeah. like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Most of you have, like, a theatre background. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Coming back to them, is the media also taking care of you, your local artists, the media in general, not radio, but the media, talking of newspapers and TV, radio, I, well, podcasts? I think the media has open arms, you know, and open doors for us to go to them. It's just that we are lagging behind, and we are... As artists, we are not well informed about the marketing uh, section of the inter uh, artist. We've learned to realize that once you put out something that's hot, people will come after it, which means the media will come after it. So more of us are focusing on taking out the good content that media will chase us instead of us chasing media. But it's the other way around in other people, you know, they chase media. Media's got open doors, you know. If you go to them and you give them what you want to sell, believe me, they'll sell it. Yeah. Okay. And, um, um, yeah, you're a performing artist. Yeah. Um, talking to promoters, I hear the promoters who owe a lot of artists, like, since last year. Yeah. And when events were open now, like, uh, last year after the, the, the SOE, yeah. I hear some promoters were, were willing to offer, like, just 600 pool uh, to artists so that you guys can just buy bread and meat for the kids at home. Ma, well, I've never heard of such because I don't think I can tolerate that section mm -hmm. when it comes to my, 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 my art. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but what you take uh, within, between the, the current relationship between promoters and, and artists from uh, uh, To me, everything is a choice. And I believe promoters are in business. And artists should be in business as well. And they should believe in their business. If a promoter comes and they see you as a product, 
that can bring them 10 tebe and they see another product that can bring them a million, you know, they'll go for a million. Why don't you position yourself into where they could look at you as bringing a million? Yeah. Okay. 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 And also, uh, before before we wrap it up, before we wrap it up, mm. um, we have a, a case of uh, local artists. You guys are not cashing in when it comes to selling music online. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, most of you guys uh, prefer putting music uh, for free online. And um, yeah, why, why is it that this this culture? It's 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 what we have in Botswana. You know, even if you reach more than hundred thousand followers on YouTube, you are still not credited by YouTube unless you're in SA. You know, I believe maybe here the population and the licenses here are not valid enough for us to reach such a uh, platform. Yeah, so we are struggling to sell music online. Even if you put it on other platforms, is the I think there's a lot that needs to be invested in when it comes to monetary. So we lag behind and we don't believe in it because we don't understand the culture. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Latimi, what you want to be remembered is when it's all said and done. I don't think I've ever had such a thought in my head of yes. being remembered, but I just realized that I'll never be remembered, you know, even if you try. People, if they choose to forget you, they forget you. But if people try to choose to remember you, they'll remember you. Yeah. you know, at some point when you, now it's, it's a norm, when you pass now, yo, you become the topic of the country. And yeah. after a week or two, you disappear and it dissolves and they move forward. Yeah. So that's just life. I don't focus on the afterlife. I'm focusing on now. On oh, now. Yeah. Alright, uh, before I shut it down, actually, yeah. uh, someone asked, Horeki, what's the Latim? Is Latim inspired by the Undertaker or what? Because of some. You, you, your grand entrance, no more staging. Your dress code. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really the Undertaker, but yeah, I, was, I, I used to love wrestling a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, so the interest, the interest is, I've been doing this interest as people, people were not just paying attention, and mm -hmm. maybe it's because I didn't have the content of showing them what I do behind the scenes before I get on stage. I used to do that. Mm -hmm. But I'm inspired by performing artists and being different. You know, I still ask myself, why do I walk like that into a stage like I'm going to have a fight and still go behind and play sweet music? And, and, then, and then start dancing. <laughs> start dancing. <laughs> and, but it's nice. People love it. And I yeah. decided to stick with it and create content out of that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So what's what, 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 what's 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 planned? What's next for Latimi? I'm sure you retired some point. You're going to become a politician, a pastor, <laughs> or a farmer. You know you know how our elders do when they retire. Yeah. They choose, they choose such poor professions. I don't know, man, what's waiting for me up ahead, but the politician, no. <laughs> I might, I might try, I might try farming, you know, because I'm a rural guy. I grew up uh, um, under animals, you know, okay. uh, cattle, goats, sheep. So I might retire to, to farming. All right. Yeah. Dude, it's been nice having you on the podcast. And I uh, wish to have you more often. Thank you, Nubi. Anytime, just give me a shout, man. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll yeah, holler, yeah. I'll pass by. And uh, well, well, one of these days we'll attend one of your performances, we document it and ah, no put problem. it on our platform. No problem, I love that. All right.